This is David Hoffmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1, Chapter 4, Last Two Sections, 8 and 9. What I Can Control versus What I Cannot Control and Releasing the Control Addiction. What I can control versus what I cannot control. Hi, David. I listened to your tape, No Control Over the World. It raised lots of confusion in my mind. When I was young, I thought I had control over everything in my life. Work, who were my friends, what I did for pleasure and time off, what I did for hobbies, etc., I thought I had no control over sickness, violence from others, war, accidents, etc. Now that I am getting older, I need to wear glasses and find I cannot see with them or without them. My memory is failing. My ability to learn new technologies is getting more difficult, etc., I find that I have less and less control over the loss of function and that I am heading to where my mother is, in a wheelchair, in a home. I seem to be at loss to control the human decline. If I understand the message of no control over the world, I might as well accept the fact that the body is aging and function is leaving the mind would be at least relieved of the worry. It, too, is not as sharp as it was. I cannot remember people's names, and often words I know simply do not come, or come in the wrong language. In spite of the detailed questions and resulting confusion, I did get a clear visualization after listening to No Control Over the World which is that my life is like a person on a carpet. The carpet you spoke of that rolls up when time is done. So for every decision that I make on the carpet, the carpet unrolls according to my decisions. If I decide to turn right, it also turns right and unrolls before me. And if I look down the carpet, I see my imagined future. If I look back over the carpet, I see my past story. If I turn left, the carpet precedes me. When the mind disengages, no longer seeing itself as part of the person on the carpet, it appears that the whole carpet past and present is really a dream. It is not in the reality of the mind that was identified with the person before. Thus you say it is past because it is outside of timelessness. The visualization also explains to me why there is no randomness in reality because all is mind, and mind is both love and knowledge at the same time. So once one is identified with the big mind, then they could never see randomness, which implies action without intelligence. Anyway, I am sure that your words of wisdom will shed clarity on these issues. So this is lesson one of how to recognize what I can control versus what I cannot control. Beloved one, thanks for writing and sharing your questions and ponderings. Awakening is simply the clear awareness that state of mind, peace, happiness, freedom, 
joy is true self-responsibility and the belief that seemed to make the cosmos ego has had no effect on reality truth of spirit to live in the present is to be free of the illusory limits of time space you can control the direction of your thinking and can therefore align with the holy spirit in the present moment practicing with willingness the ability to choose the holy spirit will yield the experience of being which is far beyond the illusory concept of choice it is true that nothing is random the script of the cosmos played out in one seeming unholy instant and was corrected or neutralized by the holy spirit flow with the love of the holy spirit and it becomes apparent that all seeming decisions in form are already made this is the experience of the happy dream of non-judgment prayer mind watching and forgiveness lead to the experience that all form is false appearance and past and what is past cannot be changed only recognized as over and gone time and space are one illusion peace of mind comes the instant the illusion is forgiven or released life is our spirit which is eternal the body only seems to decline and age to the ego which is the belief in time be comforted to know that holy spirit will arrange time and space for the miracles you will be sharing our joining shows that time has no effect on our identity in god nothing can change eternal love what seems to fade was never love for love is everlasting continue to open to the miracles the holy spirit offers listen to the gatherings offered online pray for the holy spirit's loving interpretation and everything will be revealed awakening is a moment of readiness and willingness and actually has nothing to do with time at all give your mind permission to rest and soar in the divinity within miracles offer an effortless way of flowing in the moment you will recognize them by the ease through which they come release all attempts to control persons places and events and watch with the holy spirit keep watch and there is only an experience of lightheartedness nothing else really matters and now we conclude with the final section of chapter 4 of book 1 releasing the control addiction turning something over to the holy spirit is a leap of faith that lets go of attempting to control outcomes the core of alcoholism anorexia bulimia smoking and a host of things the world calls addictions is control the little willingness the holy spirit asks is the key to letting go of the attempt to manage the body and the world which is the insane attempt to maintain a self-concept image 
that God did not create. An idea to contemplate from the Course is this. Seek not to change the world, but choose to change your mind about the world. Text Chapter 21 Introduction The requirement is to change your thinking, not to focus on behavior and form. Behavior flows from thought, and transformation of the mind is synonymous with changing thought patterns from ego-based to spirit-based. Control and judgment are the addiction. The focus is always on releasing them since God creates only mind awake and these abilities are unnatural being illusions. The development of trust in the Holy Spirit goes hand in hand with the release of judgment or control and it becomes more and more apparent that trust would settle every problem now.